Hey beer fans, my name is Steve Jaguera. This is a Beer Native Beer Review. This is Seven Days of Siren and this is day two. And you're probably thinking, I've never seen you outside before. I'm, I'm a, like, this is, I live in England and it's September. I think it's 21 degrees. I cannot see a cloud. Really, seriously. Like, I've been living here 20 years and I don't know that I've ever seen a day where I looked up and there was actually no clouds. It's, it's kind of popular for rain, you know, you may have heard that before. Back to the beer though. Today I'm going to be reviewing Siren's The Perfect Crime IPA, another beautiful piece of art. Let's check it out in the beer cam. I filmed this previously when I was in my beer cave. Yeah, a beautiful thing. Actually, it's worth knowing. Right there, that window right there, that's my beer cave. That's where I film all the other reviews that I do it's not as glorious or sunny and sometimes it's actually quite dark so it's very nice to be doing one outside and all this fresh air beautiful thing the perfect crime ipa it's a six percent they say directly on their website it is them experimenting with citra and equinot incognito as a hop what does that mean incognito it's like extract so think of it like a hop extract if you when you add pellets to the whole mess it absorbs beer, you lose beer. Extract is like an efficient way of using hops. So should keep enhancing the flavor profile of Equinot, which actually has a pretty robust and bizarre flavor profile to begin with, with all sorts of papaya and zest and lime, like really wonderful, interesting things associated with it. I'm seeing a lot in IPAs. The perfect crime. All right, so I'm not gonna talk too much about Siren. If you wanna find out more about Siren, go check out day one. I talk all about how they have this commitment to beautiful art. They have a commitment to creating beers that newbies, let's say, to craft beer would enjoy. And people who are enthusiasts like myself and yourself, you're watching a video about it, will keep coming back for. All right, here we go. Let's have a go at the perfect crime. Crack it all open. Wow, okay, so I'm getting, am I saying, am I gonna get, do I know I'm getting Equinot Incognito? No, not really, I haven't really sipped it yet. It smells really nice and floral and tropical out of the can, like a typical IPA. I mentioned it with Citra. The hops are malted barley, oats, and wheat. Pretty standard, really. So I feel like I'm going for a very, very, with the exception of the experimentation with the Equinot Incognito, um, it should be pretty normal. And by the way, incognito hops are designed to go into the whirlpool space. So for those who like to brew, let's drop it into here. I got a bug plan on my head while I'm pouring. So I'll do half of that. There we go. They're not calling it a New England IPA. The head died pretty quick, maybe because I'm, I'm a little too careful sometimes. Let's chuck a bit more in there and get a bit of a head. There we go. Nice small fine bubbles, but it is going away pretty fast. I don't mind that. I'm not too much of a beer head critic. But it has got that very juicy finish. Let's get that beautiful sunlight on it. Give it a little smell. Very nice. Okay. The clear sign that I like a beer is when I intend to just take a sip and I take a great big old sip. That was pretty good. It came straight out the nose. It's long. So if you're, I don't know if, you, if you're a wine enthusiast, they talk about long and short wines. Uh, the problem that can be with wines that are short is that you go through them quickly because you get a great hit that's something you really enjoy, but then it's like, it's gone. And then you jump back in and you grab more, so you're constantly sipping. It's not, it's not maybe economical, but it might be associated with cheap wines. This is like, it's still there. Like it's still resonating across my palate. This really strong, maybe is that incognito? I don't know. You know, I'm experimenting with incognito drinking as they are making. So it seems quite nice. Interesting. I had been warned by several people that the Siren series was very much worth it, and so far I'm I am agreeing with that. All right, I'm gonna score this up. The Incognito, let's hold it up, give it a bit of credit. Six percent, the perfect crime. Oh, four pound forty. I got this direct from Siren. So people 
sometimes criticize me for not seeing how much it costs. So people want to know if it's value for money. Add shipping, let's just call it five pounds for a can, right? Uh, I'm going to start with art. I love Siren art. This is yet another beautiful thing. Quick look at the beer cam again. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Beautiful story. So I'm going to give it a four on art. Standard can. Good commitment, though, on the can. Like, everything's black. Hmm, maybe I should consider that. A I'll consider that part of the art. Four on the art. Seven on the art. And packaging. And in terms of uniqueness... Kind of unique because of the Equinox Incognito. But that's because I'm drilling really into the detail. But I, I'm still going to give it a, I'll give it a four on unique. Is it accurate to an IPA? It's 6%. It's a wonderful thing. Ah, yeah, I'm going to give it a four again. So four, four, seven, four, four. And now we are at 15. Do I like it? Now, the big, this is the big one. You notice everything I mark out of five, flavor I mark out of 10, because it kind of matters the most, but I don't want it to be the overriding only thing I think about. And... Uh, I might give it a pretty good score. I've got 15. I might give it a 9. Because as an IPA, I kind of can't wait to get back to the glass. I've put it down now and I'm I'm missing it already, you know? It is a very good tropical IPA. That Do I feel it's getting close to a standard that I would buy on repeat? It is. And it's done so at 6%. Because I don't need the big seven and the eights and the nines. They're interesting experiments, but I, I almost never drink them with any level of repeat. It's just more of a interesting kind of feature. At 6%, I would like it to take maybe 1.5 times the time to drink it. So I can just sit and really enjoy it. And this is definitely falling into that. All right, I'm giving it a nine. Feeling generous today. That's going to push it up to a 24 again. That's common. Then I give Lumina a 24 yesterday, which is a four to five on untapped. Excellent. I'm sure you can get the perfect crime at other places, uh, but Siren is the place to go. I was just on their website earlier today and was frustrated and thrilled to see an entirely new range of beer out there that I'm going to have to get again, and maybe some time in a few months I'll do another seven days of Siren. Excellent. Thank you, Siren. Great beer. Thank you for watching. If you like my reviews, please do tell your friends. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe down in the subscribe area because YouTube's algorithms kick in and people don't naturally find it via search unless you give it thumbs up or you click the subscribe button. It's that weird, I should do a whole video about the catch 22 of creating YouTube videos. How this video will never show up in anybody's search unless I already have a bunch of people watching it. I don't know how it works. I'll do that some other time. Thank you for watching. This has, this has been the perfect crime. 6% IPA from Siren. My name's Steve Jaguer. Thanks for watching. Hey, you're still here. Amazing. Subscribe to the channel and you'll be alerted every time I release a new beer review or my different insights into what makes beer great. Thanks for watching.